This is a video abstract of a paper we have recently submitted to the ePrint Archive by Martin Plenio, Susanna Welga and myself. So let, let's consider the following communication protocol. Suppose to have two communicating parties, Alice, the sender of the message, and Bob, the receiver, and in between some communication network. So now Alice uh, sends the message to Bob, encoding the qubit state in the site 1. On the other side, after some uh, noisy quantum evolution of this network state, Bob tries to recover the Alice message by decoding the output state in the site N. So the evolution of this complex network will be described by some Hamiltonian component plus some noise terms and under some assumptions for the Hamiltonian it turns out that this evolution can be the map to a so-called quantum channel and to a family of quantum channels depending on two parameters eta and s they are time dependent complicated functions of your evo noise evolution and uh, eta is somehow describing the transfer of population and uh, s is related to the presence of the coherence in your evolution. So, as in classical case, uh, a central notion of quantum communication is represented by the so-called channel capacity. So, loosely speaking, this quantity uh, represents the optimal rate at which you can send either classical or quantum information over noisy quantum channels with asymptotically vanishing error probability. So, without errors, in the limit of long messages and with some proper encoding and decoding schemes. And so the calculation of the channel capacity is uh, one of the main issues in quantum information science and indeed they are known just for a very few cases. So if you send classical information, let's say classical bits 0 and 1, you have the so-called classical capacity of a quantum channel. Uh, instead if you send uh, quantum information or full quantum states, you have the def definition of quantum capacity of a quantum channel. So in this work, we derived analytically and numerically uh, the classical and uh, quantum channel capacities for this large family of quantum channels. So here we plot the classical and quantum capacities as a function of eta and s. So just briefly, uh, they are both increasing monotonic function of eta and s, with eta and s going from 0 to 1. And now it turns out that, that if you apply the phasing, you can increase eta, so you can go in this direction, and both rates go up on one end. But on the other hand, because of the presence of the coherence, s goes down, and so both rates go down. So you need to find the compromise but uh, it seems that it works very well if you apply the right amount of the phasing. And so the main result is that you may announce in a remarkable way the classical quantum capacities of these communication networks and uh, just by applying the phasing. And uh, we will show you now this in uh, two simple examples. The first example is related to a, a biological model that we recently investigated in other papers and basically we found that in some biological systems involved in bacterial photosynthesis the, the phasing may enhance the transport of electronic excitations from the antenna where the photons are absorbed to the reaction center where the photosynthesis and all the chemical reactions take place. So here you see the classical capacity as a function of time uh, in the scale of picosecond and so if you have a quantum evolution without the phasing this is the behavior for the classical capacity but if you apply the phasing you have this uh, remarkable enhancement concerning the second example uh, we consider uh, the simplest communication network so three sides so here is Alice, here is Bob here this other guy that says if and uh, here you can and see the results. Without the phasing, the quantum capacity is also at zero in this time interval. And when you apply the phasing in the 
third side uh, you have so here the quantum capacity goes up to 0 point or 0 0.9 so this is a remarkable enhancement here therefore to summarize uh, we found that the defacing may be counterintuitively useful to increase the classical quantum information transmission rates uh, in this uh, in these communication protocols and these results may pave the way for ultra fast realistic communication networks uh, assisted by the presence of noise. If you are interested, you will find more details in the paper on archive.